Hi, this is Atik, and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, uh, I came up with another new uh, video for this free manager accounting software. And uh, today, I will explain you how you can uh, work on inventory through this manager free accounting software. First of all, you uh, when you come to the dashboard of this software, so on the left side, you can see if you already active the inventory options so you can see on the left side if you didn't active so then you have to go to the customization and then here in customize and then you can go and then you can select from the uh, list and uh, then you can see on the left side but as i show you before that i already active this one so you can see here on the left side in after the debit node there is inventory item inventory transfer and inventory write off in this video i will show you uh, how we will work on these three things so first of all uh, i will show you inventory items when we go there in inventory item i already upload uh, two inventory in this section i will show you uh, how you can uh, how you can fill the data so that you can use for uh, when you record the purchases or when you record the inventory so then how you will use that one and uh, when you seal so how you can use it in inventory section this is this is an important part any software when, when you have an inventory based business so uh, you have to record first item you have to make an item list and then you can go uh, with the recording and everything so in this inventory section this section is linked with the sales invoice also and the purchase invoice also i will show you how first we will go to the edit so you can see here this is a like uh, automatically i i did before uh, while i am doing practice on this one so i choose the pack pack so I choose the main, I, the code is like B and P, so dash double zero one, this is the item code and the backpack is the name and it's obviously this is a, in pieces so I put as a pieces in the unit name. So then the other one thing is that the purchase price and the sale price, that one is up to you. This is optional. If you want, you can put the good, for example, what are the benefit for this in sale purchase price and sale price when you put. so. When you add here this amount sale purchase price so when you make a purchase invoice so the purchase cost will appear there automatically the same case with the sale when you mention the sale price here 40 dir 40 dirham so this when you make the sale invoice it will appear there also automatically but you, you can change manually there for example i uh, i i mentioned the purchase sale price 40 but I got a chance and I sold that item with 45 dirham or 50 dirham per piece. So it means that I sold more than the price which I have in the system. That price which I have in the system that is for all the items generally. But I got a chance and I sold more than that price. So I can mention on I can mention there also manually. Okay. So there here you have to mention the description backpack for male and female this is unisex. Okay. So that and then you can mention the tax code. I mentioned the standard rate supplies. So when I mention here standard rate supplies, so it will appear while while I'm doing this uh, booking the purchase invoice. Also, it will appear there, and while I'm doing the sale invoice, also it will appear there. If I didn't choose this option, so then manually I have to be uh, select from there. When I'm doing the purchase invoice, then I have to manually select rate, sale, uh, standard rated supplies tax rate. And the same thing I will do in case of sale invoice. So next is custom income account and custom expense account. Here you can see that inventory sale. So this income account will link with this inventory sale. Okay. And the custom expense account that link with the direct cost. Okay. Inventory cost. So we have to be active this one. So then this thing when we make the sale invoice, so it will go to the income side. And when we we'll, uh, make a purchase invoice, so it will go to the cost side. Okay. So this is the um, like 
thing how do thing work on, work on this software so this is everywhere every software you have to do the same thing so you have to update so then this thing will be updated now you can see here edit if you want to edit you can go and edit item code item name description same thing you can see here also purchase and purchase price sale price pieces continue on hand 28 20, i will tell you how i is mentioned 28 20 and 560 okay now the next next step when we uh, build a item list after that for example in the later part when you purchase some items so that time uh, we will use this code i will show you one purchase invoice this is uh, this is the purchase backpack as stock okay I will go here in edit and I will show you I will show you here invoice date invoice number in code order number is optional if you want you can mention supplier I mentioned here I already have a supplier our back collection so I mentioned the same name so purchase backpack as a stock or you can mention as per your uh, comfort like whatever the description you want you can mention there and inventory location now this thing I will tell you normally this thing is not coming here after uh, first I will explain you this one how I bring this inventory location and what is the meaning of this inventory location inventory location for example if you have a multiple uh, places for uh, inventory for example warehouse you have a warehouse and you have a shop uh, the, all the item and you purchase so it will come to the warehouse and then it move to the uh, shop so it means that you have two places or for example if, uh, you purchase any item and at, that will come directly to your shop and that is shop number one for example for example here I mentioned Dera branch one okay we have two branches Dera branch one and Dera branch two so for example when you purchase something that will come to first branch so you have to record in the first branch later in the later part for example after, after 15 days um, your other branch needs some um, stock for their shop so they don't have but you have so now you want to move some of the stock from branch 1 to branch 2 so you can use this one so that's why it's very important for you I will tell you how to add this uh, branch location okay I just stop here and I will go back to the uh, branch how to add br uh, inventory branch location you can go here and you can see here inventory location here you can mention inventory location data branch 1 data branch 2 I will show you how to only you have to mention here branch name for example I will mention now data branch three for example for just your now I have three branches now you can I will go back and I will show you that this third branch which I add, added now it will appear there also look at this one branch, branch 1 branch 2 and now the branch data branch 3 which I just added now in front like in the exam as an example so I will choose a branch 1 okay the same one so now I purchased all the item this current item this all item I purchase for branch number one so I choose from here the backpack which I already added in inventory item list I choose here and there I already active as you, as you, as you saw that inventory on hand I told you before that when you purchase something so that is linked with the inventory on hand or inventory cost okay so it as a, as a stock <coughs> stock in hand so now the next one is backpack now next one is back and description I told you description you can mention as per your convenience now the quantity I'm going to purchase 50 backpack with 20 is the purchase price so that's why I mentioned this one so I told you before the tax rate I selected the standard rate supply so it's coming with the same one now I will update so this is the invoice now now the second thing 
now we will go and I will show you the sale impact because now why I'm doing this step by step these three things so you will know that uh, when I will show you the report so you will know the effect how it will affect because now let, at the later part I will show you uh, the uh, movement of quantity also in uh, later part I will show you the in the reports how it, it will affect so now we will go to sale invoice here already I uh, prepared the invoice I will show you now so after the purchase invoice the next step is I will show you in inventory the next step is inventory transfer for example now you want to transfer inventory from one branch to another branch okay how you will do that you can go here I will show you already prepare one inventory transfer so you can go to the edit so this is the uh, form I will show you in this form how to uh, how to fill that form first is the date transfer number is uh, some uh, if you choose if you op select this option it will come automatically otherwise you can mention manually also this is a description uh, and then uh, you can the second step is uh, the item number item number or item name you can choose from here uh, backpack the description is the same you can copy and the paste there and how many quantity you want to transfer for example I want to transfer five <coughs> So I choose five and then branch data branch I have three branches but the quantity where we have we receive that I receive all the quantity in branch number one so that's why I choose the branch number one from and which branch I, I want to transfer second okay branch number two update that's it this is the way you have to manage the transfer thing now 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 the third part is inventory write-off what is the meaning of inventory write-off for example you purchase 50 items of backpack but later, uh, later part after uh, 15 days or when you open the all the carton uh, or like all cartons and then you can uh, down you saw that there is one or two item which is very very like in a bad condition or damage too much damage and that you cannot use it for uh, further sale purpose so in that case um, that item you want to be write off obviously you cannot sell so might be you know this thing after one month or two months till that time you already claim the VAT on uh, purchases also okay so now when you go to the write off side section so then you have to write off and you have to adjust the VAT also which you already claim and in next VAT return you have to adjust that VAT which you already claim you have to be write off mean you have to be expense out okay so in this case you have to be uh, open an account uh, in uh, direct expenses and you can mention there and then you can expense out this item from there uh, I already add the account in direct expense in direct expenses so I will uh, um, like uh, write off this item from there so how to prepare that one only you have to go here no need to make any other any other entry just go there and uh, I will show you how to fill the form this is the date this is inventory reference number so this is a description same two item were damaged and further not be able to sale so being that's why you are going to be right off this one so inventory item you have to choose and how many quantity you are going to be right off I have two I damage item and uh, which branch you can mention the location I have the same branch where we received all the stock that two item I found there and still in the same branch so the, f the other one is location now you have to choose here for example I will show you here in profit and loss statement okay you can see here so I already mentioned here this uh, inventory write-off option okay so I choose here then I choose the standard rated also tax update now I will show you this thing in statement when you come here this is the inventory write-off option which is coming here 
because I already added here in uh, I go to I, I went to the uh, chart of account there I went and I add one more expense account with the inventory right of name okay and then now you can see here there's two entries one is damage another item but the current which I show you the entry that one is this one inventory right of two item were damaged and fu further not be able to sell 42 dirham okay why 42 dirham because uh, the each 20 dirham is the each uh, the cost of each item so when you write off so you have to be write off with the same amount cost price obviously it's not going to be sell so it means that you have to choose the same cost so 20 or into 2 40 and then the VAT 5 percent I hope you understand so now this is 42 dirham that going to be reversed now the next one I will show you I have to go back to the summary I will go and I will show you this now when you go here you can see the this statement from here all the entry you can find here see five sixty is the remaining okay here you can see the transfer from five back from branch one to branch two also To damage item also it will, like all the detail it will show you each and everything in this ledger so when I go back to the same place so now the next step is how you can view the report you can go here here you can down you can see here inventory items so this report inventory quantity by location when you select the location like when you add location then this report will come so before that when you didn't did not add any location so it will not appear obviously when you don't have any location you have only one location so then this location movement will you will not see because you have only one location you don't have any other location so how you can see the movement so there is no mean for that one so when you have too many locations then obviously there is a uh, justification for the report so I will show you this one also you can see that for example this backpack you have 23 and 5 in Dera, 23 in branch 1 and uh, 5 in branch 2 total is 28 so this is the way you have you can see the report now for example if you want to see a report with the summary with the amount value wise you can see the value also here this way 1000 you purchase 400 is the cost of sale total and then adjustment is 40 and remaining is 560 this is the inventory detail you can see there only okay profit margin sixty percent margin Okay. because you put you uh, you sold this one in is uh, 1000 and uh, the cost of that item is 400 and the profit is 600 so 60 percent is a margin so this is the way you can find the uh, reports uh, in uh, manager free accounting software hope you like today's video if you like my video please like share and subscribe and uh, please share with your friends thank you bye